Good night, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're back for Red Dead 1. Yes, we're back in Red Dead 1. We've got a lot of stuff we're doing. What the? Flowers for a lady. This is a stranger mission. We're still looking for Bill. We saw Bill the last episode. Remember, you know what happened to Bonnie? She got kidnapped. Oh, fuck. The controller. Yes, Bonnie got kidnapped. Um, it was a bad situation, but I don't know what happened. Like, I like the sounds in this game. It's so brilliant. Rockstar. Like, I want this game remade, honestly. Nearly at the flowers for lady. Oh, it's this guy again. I think I got some flowers. Oh, I don't. That's right. I'm still looking for the flowers. Oh, don't worry about that. Um, yeah. I wanna get a coach to there. I can't be fucked. Come on. Let's go. Got a W mission. That's cool. I love how this game is so brilliant. And everything. It's just incredible how Rockstar did a lot of work on this. I don't know how many years I'm telling Sixteen dollars. Got two hundred dollars. I can spare a couple of chan money. Hello. Climb right up. Hang on to your artillery. Oh, stranger mission. What and honestly? Let's do this one. I like strange missions. Hello, sir. Shit, watch out, boss. You don't want to get brutal murdered. Oh my god, this was. Let's go. Do more stranger missions. Some of the 
again, John missed again a bit. Just had a brotherhood, then, then Dodge went psycho. Then Arthur died. Micah got shot by John, he was so mad. Everything happened. It wasn't Dutch's fault, really. It was fucking Micah going in his head. And now he's a psycho now. We had to arrest him and shit. Dutch and Vandalin. Most evil character in this game. Miss? Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. Oh, my God. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs> Weird. Fucking psycho. Now we got a mission. There we are. Water and honestly. Let's go. Let's go. Gold horse. Wow, look at this game. It is awesome. Should have picked that up, but okay. I love the soundtrack in this game. It's just. Well, here we are. Friend, I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. 
We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain at twice the price. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. Deed? Yep. There it is. Ah, here about it is all my All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, I had a stranger. Yeah. Before. You okay, lady? <laughs> My husband's missing. <laughs> These bastards won't do anything. <laughs> but he's a good man. <laughs> he don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, <laughs> he's been missing for three days. <laughs> Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? <laughs> How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. much money and I'm with the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can.
Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> No, I oh, was so used to Red Dead Two. <laughs> Don't take me back to that man. Mister. This maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Ah! <laughs> Save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> That's the next place we're going to. Yep. Come on. Oh. She will not give you false exception for profit. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. 
I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Sure. Okay. <laughs> to Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering yeah. saver of souls. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, the gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I should be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio mate. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the pain. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So, it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyatch camera posters knows the first thing about photography? We can rest later, John. Right now, the good people of Ridgewood await us. Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Show, let's go. Are you friends? Hard working souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches. Backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could 
improve the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Try again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. I knew he was lying. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our chess oh. case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Right, friend. Here it comes. Huh? What? I said hit the target. What is wrong? Get ready to shoot that path. Ah, oh, she just. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. <laughs> well, you want to try that again, sharpshooter? Come on, then. Yeah. Here it comes. See? That tonic is a sham. Such an eye. Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey, what? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at him. The tonic is coursing through his veins. Oh my God. I'm putting you down hard! Behold the miracle I'll rip your face off! Mm. Oh, oh, there it is! Skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there! Go get it! This ends now! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. This can't be right. Somebody... Oh, shit. What are you talking? Uh, for fuck's sake, it's the gun. Oh, hey, a marvelous shot. 
here for it. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Well, I'm just glad that my normal job involves you chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh. Hello. Seth. <laughs> I know a wrestler called Seth Rollins. That's yeah. funny. I mean, this is a place. Yeah. Oh, a stranger. Hey. What's this? Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Okay, look for Peter. Oh, come here. Look for Peter. Peter Griffin. Let's call him Peter Griffin. Okay. From, fa from the Family Man show. Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. And let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? Oh, fuck me. Sorry, my trailer came out. 
It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left. The dumb winch is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Fuck it, I'm not wasting five dollars in my day, I'll just convince the wife. Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whoremongering bastard sent you, get low! Miss, please, if only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time, not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. <laughs> oh, well. Well, you sure ain't no gentleman, are you? Sure, I'll go back to him, but trust me, same as God, kill him when he's asleep. That's your business, madam, and I wish you luck with it. Too yellow to come and get me himself, busy. I'll poison that little maggot. What did he do? What didn't he do? He's a fiddler who can't stop fiddling. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah. That's where he'd be, I guess. Oh, what the hell's this dude doing? Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name's Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner, my boy, my man, Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. This guy looks Why? really bad. Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him, me. Are the same. The self same. This guy is a psycho. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Fair deal. Alright, partner. Let's go. Partner, this 
though. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people are laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I'm mad Williamson and Deke. All them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. We need Williamson. What happened in, um... What happened in... Um, what was it? I can't remember the place, but... What happened there? Dutch What's so important about this map? Trade on Arthur, just unimaginable John. riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought. Come on. Oh, yeah. Not as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. There's no difference between night and day. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Huh? This is one god awful assignment. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Okay. Let's go! You rat bastard! Take your Easy.
I'm so good. Okay, let's go back to Seth. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye oh, out and get back. It's falling out. Mister, you just wait till I get loose, Mister. Hey, buddy, you son of a bitch, let me go. Well, I'm not gonna let you go. You're worth something, and I want. I need some help for your room. Who do you think you are, Mister? You know what I want. I want Bill Williamson. The guy who betrayed hey, me. Have the air, Dutch, and Joe. And all those dickheads were killed. Was it worth it? But then, yeah, it was for not for Arthur. He got sick with that, Mr. Downey's fuckwit. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Yeah, that's a funny story. Someone Seth lost his mind too. Own mother. Split it between us, just me and you. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. You are Seffy boy. It's mine now. You hear me, Moses? Mine. <laughs> mine. Moses, you son of a bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy ah. in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's ah. flesh. Ain't ah. never cut into a live ah. one before. <laughs> uh. odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> 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 
Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Best we deal with this now, mister. This letter should do it. Let's Go on, then. You can clear it up the deck. Don't do nothing foolish now. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Stranger. Why don't you jump up? <laughs> <laughs> 